fam, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fam, that's what they call me Hi guys, so um, I got my very first subscription box today Oh my gosh, I almost said prescription Subscription box today, it is BoxyCharm as you can tell um, it's a little beat up. I don't know why I thought it would come in another box. Like, I thought this box would come in another box for some reason. Anyway, I went ahead, I cut it open, but I haven't seen what's inside. And tomorrow, I will do something with whatever is inside the box. Um, now, I know one thing that I'm supposed to get, and I'm really excited about that. And if it is in here, I will show that to you. Um, forgive my shaking. I'm trying to pull my sleeves up. So, um, anyhow, you know, I'm never fully, like, I'm never ready to do a video. I don't know what is wrong with me. But, so I went ahead and cut this open so that y'all could do that. But, anyways, too long of uh, an explanation, so gonna open it up. And the first thing you see is at BoxyCharm, hashtag BoxyCharm. And then you have your harvest, because this is the November box. I wanted specifically the November box. Um, and this is the stuff that's in it, but we're not gonna really look at that right now. Um, what is this? Oh, okay. So, it's a coupon for Natasha Denona. Um, that's pretty cool. It's like store-wide. Okay. And then it's got some bubble-wrapped items in here. So, the first thing we're going to take out is this. And yay, it is what I wanted it to be. Come on, focus. Like, what's wrong with you? I spent, like, way too much money for you not to focus. Focus. Um, anyway, since it's not going to want to focus, um, I'm going to open this and let you see it. So, let me pause for one moment. Okay, we're back. I did think that the first thing that I wanted, like, this is the thing I wanted the most. Um, because I love these colors. Um, I'm looking for a really good red. This actually is a little deeper than it is showing up on camera. Um, I wonder if I can fix the... Yeah, that's a little, that's a little more right. Um, and tomorrow I will swatch this for you. Um, we can do like a little bit of the red. Oh, that is, like, really nice. I'm going to swatch it on my wrist, and I'll show you later. And a little bit of that. And then I'll show you at the end of this. Um, so, yeah, I was super excited about this because I love these colors. And, honestly, I don't have anything like this, and I don't have anything like this. Um, like, that orangey color i'm going to turn this back up though but i don't have any orangey color and i don't have this and honestly look how pretty uh, like those are really pretty colors okay so i'm excited about that um we have shroom show water serum all right so blah 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 whole bunch of stuff okay it's basically just a hydration serum um yeah that looks pretty cool let's take it out of the box oh my gosh am i gonna have to pause like everything and take everything out of the box one second okay well i didn't mean to completely like go out of that but yeah it's just a serum um it looks really milky in there um, and looks to have a dropper, like, again, I will show you this all way better tomorrow when I'm filling up to doing a video, and I will use this on my face, and we'll see how good it does, like, uh, under makeup. So, I'm gonna put everything over here, take that off. Oh, this is my little extra thing that I got. So, it gave you, like, this little extra thing, 
um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So it gave you an extra thing. And I picked this because I've never really had anything from this brand before. Um, and it looked really pretty. Oh, no wonder I can't get it open. I'm like, oh, I can't get this open. Okay, first off, let me say I absolutely love this packaging. Look how pretty that is. And I know this doesn't, like, represent every skin tone, but I like that they put, you know, all the, of us queens on there. You know? That's awesome. Oh, and it does say all of us queens. That's pretty cool. Um, it's magnetized, which I do like. Um, it has a really big mirror. Uh, but look at those colors. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, again, let me turn the brightness down on this so that you can see, like, in real life, in IRL. Ooh, those two right there. I want that one and that one right on my eyeball. Oh, that's going to look so pretty with this palette. Look at that. That's going to be so pretty together. Okay, so this was my extra thing that I chose um, and it slides into this. That's why I couldn't get it out. I thought I was trying to open it in a weird way. Um, the next thing we got in here is something for milk makeup. Before and after. What is it? Um, Kush Waterproof Mascara. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. High volume. Naturally lifted. Seals the deal. Um, I don't like a lot of waterproof mascaras because they tend to break your eyelashes off. Um, and I'm going to have to pause this again. Jeez Louise. Okay, so I got it open. This does have fibers in it. Um, it's waterproof, long wearing, blah, blah, blah. You know, I mean, it's mascara. So, let's see if I can undo this don't look at my pajamas and that is what the wand looks like I'm interested it's been a really long time since I wore a mascara that had um, fibers in it um, and this will be actually my first milk makeup product um, I ordered some milk makeup off I don't remember what website it was but so they didn't have it, and they didn't tell me they didn't have it, and so they just didn't ever send it to me. I mean, I wasn't, I also wasn't, like, charged for it, but they didn't send it, which kind of was like, wow, thanks. Um, and this is Primer long wear sticky pigment base i'm assuming this is eyeshadow primer um which that's good um maybe it isn't though it says pigmented base i'll have to look i'll have to look on the card to see if this is regular primer or if it's eyeshadow primer um but you can see that it says long wear sticky pigment base um so, again, tomorrow will be better day. And then I got, what in the heck is this? Lip oil. Oh, it is a Wet n' Wild thing. Okay. So, this is from Wet n' Wild. No, it isn't. What is this from? Again, I'll have to look. Anyway, it's a lip oil. It's tinted. Um, usually these things aren't very tinted, even though it says that it's tinted, it's not really that tinted, but look, it does, it is cruelty free. So, um, it's ready, spelled, um, red with a Y. Um, Lipple, distributed by Ink Cosmetics. Um... And it says it's cruelty free. But it says made in China. So I thought stuff made in China was not cruelty free. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright. Um, let me get everything set up. And um, I will read the paper while I show you what was in the box.
all right hi guys so um this is the thing and i will read it to you while you are staring at the beautiful things that came in here i do want to say that i did use this a little bit i put it on my hand i always swatch like new um skincare stuff on my hand first to make sure it's not going to break me out and i did put this lip oil on and it smells so good it doesn't really have a taste but it kind of smells like coconut and birthday cake i don't know um and it is really conditioned and i'm not gonna lie like it's really nice okay so the natasha denona peak palette um is a five pan palette which you know we can tell everyday warm toned eye pigments um anyways it is 48 dollars the volt Voltion Beauty Snow Mushroom Water Serum is $62 and it says it's an ultra hydrating serum powered by superfood snow mushrooms to minimize the look of pores and leave skin visibil visibly not visibility visibly plumper and healthier looking and it's supposed to be $62 it did melt into my skin I will say that when I put it on my hand it melted right into my skin like it did not leave a sticky residue it wasn't gross um, the milk makeup kush waterproof mascara um, is $24 and it says waterproof intense black mascara with thickening heart-shaped fibers and conditioning hemp derived from cannabis seed oil so apparently if it is conditioning maybe it won't be like the other waterproof stuff where it um like it's really hard to get off and so therefore it breaks your eyelashes um oh and i said ink cosmetics it's um int int maybe cosmetic lip oil um, it says this is the perfect product for those who want hydration and moisture and only a flush of color. This lip oil can easily be applied to pl blah 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 can easily be applied on the go on top of lipstick or for an added sheen. It's really nice. It really is. Like I'm digging it right now. And then the one we had an issue about um, is the Almar Cosmetics Primer Longwear Sticky Pigment Base. Uh, a water-based pigment designed to glue eyeshadow. It is an eyeshadow primer. In place and maximize color and pearl dimensions. It's water and wear resistant and enriched with shea butter to provide a conditioning moisturizing benefits also works as a glitter glue mixed with your favorite concealer to customize the primer shade okay so it's saying like i guess if it's too light for you you can always mix it with concealer and get a shade that is better for whatever eye look you're doing um, and that is $15. Oh, did I say that the lip oil was $11? I don't remember if I said that. So, that is actually really good price. Um, considering this box is $25, you almost get that amount. You get $24 just in this. And then the fact that the Natasha Denona palette is um, $48. 48 for this and it's 62 for this and then um oh it didn't tell me the queen cosmetics i wanted to look up that let me see if i can find something on that because it doesn't tell me anything about that okay so i wanted to talk about this palette because it was really beautiful um 20 pigments four stunning textures eight buttery mattes six shimmers one pressed pearl four metallics and one duochrome topper now i went online and i looked and it literally was anywhere from um eight dollars all the way up to 40 
Right now, you can get it on the website for $33. Um, and it's on sale probably for Black Friday because it's usually 51 Now, this is their actual website. Um, where I was finding it for like $8 and stuff was um, eBay. So, I mean, you know, you never know if that's real, me that's real makeup or not. Um, and then the other places that I was finding it that was more expensive was like Etsy and stuff. Um... But I wanted to do a little um, research on this brand because I've seriously never heard of it. But it looks really pretty. And I want to do a swatch or two. So give me a second. Let me swatch a few. And I'll show you the Natasha Denona versus this. Oh, right now before I um, show you... Um my swatches okay from the natasha Denona, i swatched this and this and from here because again um let me turn this down so you can see it. this is actually so super bright these two they're like neon shades and i don't know why i can't really get how bright it is on my screen uh, okay, so I stopped the video and I turned my actual screen brightness up so that maybe you could see it if it was that, but it's not. It's just, it's, it, this has always been an issue is that I feel like cameras can't capture how bright something is sometimes, um, but, or like just the vibrancy. That's why a lot of people edit their videos. I mean, um, well, videos and, um, selfies because you can't get the makeup to look as bright when you're just doing it so anyway i swatched these two this one and this one and i'll show you which one of those are on my arm and then i swatched this one and this one um this one because it is a neon color and i've never had a neon color and then i swatched these two um and that is what is on my arm so the first one the first three are from the Queen palette. The second two are from the Natasha Denona palette. And the last two are from the Queen palette. Um, from the Queen palette, the last two is Jewel and Rain. And then the Natasha Denona, the, that is that one. And then one right before that is this one. And then the this one and this one are here and here. And then that bright pink... The Elizabeth is that top one. And I think probably if you get an eye base under there, that pink is going to show up so very well. Um, these were really hard to swatch. I had to do it, um, you know, like not dig in there, but I had to like, you know, go in there more, one or two times so I could get the color to look good and show up um but with the jewel and the the rainy um it didn't like those just came and were just beautiful and gorgeous and i can't wait to play with the rest of these metallics um and with the natasha denona literally it was just one swatch and that's these two right here um that orange color and then that golden color and that is one swatch one wipe everything so i mean you know this is for uh you know i mean you get what you pay for a lot of times and i feel like this one the color payoff i'll know better tomorrow when i actually put it on my eyeballs um the color payoff is good considering it is, how much did we say that that one was? Um, let me get my card. $48, you know, for five shades. And this is 33 or 50 depending. Um, right now it's 33 and you know, you get all of those shades. Was it 20? And, um... So, yeah, 
but it is cruelty free also which i do like i like cruelty free things um but i think that the packaging is really beautiful and um i can't wait to play with these two palettes so um we'll see you tomorrow and hopefully i'll feel better and um i can film playing with all this makeup and stuff all right guys see you in a bit hi guys so um i told you i would figure out um a makeup look i could do with the um stuff i got in my subscription box my boxy charm so i am going to use these two palettes and um right now i don't have on any eyebrows or eyelashes or anything so i just kind of look like a, a pale face um i did use this before um, to see if it would do good under makeup and so far it has I feel like it's given me more texture um, In certain areas that it normally doesn't and I used it um, Like I used my normal routine. I just replaced the serum that is the hydrating pore refining serum that I normally use with this one so, I know it isn't, like, anything to do with my skincare routine. It's just this serum. Um, I will be putting this on and doing my entire face. And then, um, I will use the eyelash base on one side. Um, maybe both sides. Maybe I'll just use it on both sides. And then, what I'll do is I can use the two eyeshadows without this base on a separate day and see how it does i'm not really doing anything here at home so i feel like to truly test it i would have to go outside and do something um but anyhow i'm also going to be using the new milk makeup um mascara so I'm going to pause it and do all of my stuff because it will take me forever just to even do my eyebrows. So, um, yeah, I'm going to pause it and then when I come back you can see, like, my finished results. I'll pull you in. You can see my finished results and everything. And we'll go from there. Alright, see you in a bit. Hi guys. So, this is what I ended up doing. Um... Let me find the two palettes because I'm never prepared for anything. So, as you can tell, I went ahead and did my full face of makeup. And, um, I want to show you kind of what I did. So, I went ahead, I did use the base. And then, I used this top shade. I put, um, all over my eye. So that, um, like... You know, I had a good base. And then I took the Queen palette and I used these two shades. So first I used this one, like, and then I darkened it with this one. And so I swept both of the, I swept the first one all the way over and the second one kind of in the middle and all the way to the end. And then I used this brown because, um, it's, these are a lot warmer than they're showing up on camera, but I used this brown right on the end and a little bit toward the middle. So like I created like a small gradient and then I used, um, the base again to... I don't want to say a cut crease because it's not really a cut crease. Um, I don't know how to put it. But I used the base to do kind of like a cut crease. But I just really wanted to brighten that area up so that I could stick um, the dark red down from the Natasha Denona palette. And um, this dark red color right here. And this um very metallic -y shade and I wanted to do that so that I could um you know it would just be those colors like super bright and vibrant so I did that and then it really didn't the base that I used really did not 
um, like it was tacky and sticky and did what it's supposed to do as a base, but it wasn't that pigmented. So I remembered what it said about adding my concealer or, oh my gosh, this is just like falling. So adding my concealer, oh, one moment. Okay. I don't know. It was like slowly sliding down. So, um, yeah, it was just slowly sliding down. So I don't know. Anyway, I, I put my concealer on top of that to try and keep it, um, like that shade I wanted. And so then I used this color and I just packed it really good all over my lid at first. And, um, I like the way that look. I was like, ooh, that's so pretty, like, you know, just on its own. But I wanted to use more of the colors. Oh my gosh, please stop freaking falling, stupid thing. Um, I wanted to use more of the colors first. And so I decided to use this top shade right here. Oh my gosh, this is going to annoy me so much. Give me one second. Let me see if I can prop something up on here. No, I can't. Um, okay, so again, I wanted to use more colors, even though I do love this red. Like, oh, it's so beautiful. Um, I added this color right in the center, and then I took this, um, color, what is it called? Jewels. It's like a coppery shade, and I kind of blended this first shade and the red together using that copper shade, and then with Empire and, uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be Ronnie. R E and I, Ronnie, I don't know. Anyways, the gold shade. Um, I said brain the first time because I said it backwards because I have freaking dyslexia, and um, I read it as rain. Um, but anyway, so I took this color, which is a more pinky purpley shade, and that golden color and I mixed them together and I put them right on the corner inner corner of my eye um, because I've noticed that if I do use a blue or a purple right on the inner corner of my eye it makes my eyes more blue so I thought blue you know stuff that makes my eyes more blue plus the red always makes your eyes more blue um, reds and pinks um, but so anyways, I just, I freaking love it. I enjoyed both of the palettes a lot. Both of these, I enjoyed a lot. Um, they were really good at blending. Um, it, like, I'm not sure if it was the base or what it was, but one of the colors or the base or something made the rest of this um really patchy right here like in the crease and I don't know which one it was so it took me a while to like buff it and um what am I looking blend it blend it out so it took me a little while to blend it out and I used like some really really fluffy fluffy brand blending brushes and um you know just clean ones and was just trying to blend it out as much as I could and um I actually never use brushes for their intended purposes so um but in this case I did I used some really really fluffy br blending brushes I have a really old one from I want to say elf that they did like 9,000 years ago or something. No, no, no. This is LA Colors. So it's an old LA Colors blush, brush. And um, I just love it. Like it's the perfect 
texture for blending. And so I just blend and blend and blend and blend and blend, blend, blend until I finally got it. Um, and yeah, so that's it. And I did not put on falsies because I wanted you to see what my eyes, uh, look, my eyelashes looked like with this mascara um i'm gonna be completely honest it didn't wow me like it wasn't 32 dollars of wow i have this mascara uh monsieur big from lancome um i do like to buy smaller tubes because i feel like the larger ones always go bad before i get to use them all so um I do like to buy the smaller tubes, which is why I, I went and bought it. I first got it as, like, a gift um, with purchase from something. I don't I think I bought some Lancome skincare or something. And I got it as gift with purchase. And um, I loved it. And um, so I went and I just bought another little tiny one. Um, but honestly, it's not, I mean, I feel like I could get the same with using, um, you know, a wet and wild. Um, oh my gosh, stay up. Ugh. Honestly, it's just not worth it. I feel like I could get the same product using like a wet and wild. Um, or one of the other drugstore, you know, 5 to $12 mascaras. I think I've actually used a, um, Wet n' Wild mascara that was a little better than this. I, and it talks about, like, it has fibers in it and stuff, so I did wait for it to dry, and I used one more coat. And for those asking, yes, I curled my lashes. So this, this eye will be three coats, okay? And at first, it looks good. You're like, oh, okay. But then I don't know if it's because my lashes are, like, I don't know. My lashes are long anyway, but... I don't know what happens. It just like. I don't know if it's too much for my lashes. And they droop. Or what. But this happened the first coat. I was like oh okay this is nice. This is some nice. You know stuff. And then. The more I went. You know like. The more I. Like I waited. For it to dry. Because sometimes stuff does need two coats. And it just kind of like went down. And I was like, oh, well, that's not good. So, um, I take, I do this thing where I take the ends and I just kind of like push it. And try to like lift it a little. Um, like I'm doing with this stupid camera. Oh my gosh. So, I take it and I just kind of like lift it a little and try to get it to go up um and sometimes that works um but with this it just didn't i'm gonna give it i mean it's a huge tube so um i'm gonna use it several times and see how i like it um and the other thing is because one of these palettes something in here was um patchy i'm going to use these separate i wanted to use both of them today um just you know because um so i'm going to use them separate this one i'm going to try to make a different look than just this where it's dark on the outside and like bright on the inside which is kind of my go-to thing just because um it does make my eyes look bigger um but i'm going to try something different maybe just do a darker grungier look than what I have on now and then with this palette I don't even know because you know the colors are so pretty um 
Oh, and with the natural light, you can see kind of the vibrancy of them. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to try and figure out what I can do with these. Um, and I will show you pictures or maybe do a video. And um, so, yeah, I hope you like it. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see, like, just some everyday kind of makeup looks. Because even though I don't go a lot of places right now, I still do my makeup when I'm, especially when I'm not feeling well. Um, I will do my makeup just because, um, you know, doing my makeup makes me feel great. Um, but anyways, I'm going to leave you here. And I wanted to say that I love you guys so, so much. I love you. Thank you for subscribing, um, like, share, subscribe, do all those fun things, and, um, hopefully I will get more subscribers. Um, right now I have 169, and, um, I want to, by the end of this year, at least have 200. That's my goal for the end of the year is to at least have 200. So please, 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 if you like my content and you know somebody and you think they'll like my content, share it with them. And um, I wanted you to know that I love you and I'm here for you. You only have one life, so live it beautifully. You're not fighting any battles alone. And um, yeah, that's it just be kind to one another okay guys you never know what someone's going through and i'll see you all later bye